This is Michael Wu from yipawama.com. I'm going to talk about GUI in MATLAB. Um, that is the fundamental uh, knowledge of GUI. So first of all, let's start with GUIDE. This command will create this quick start and then you can select like, uh, some of the exceeded templates and I'm going to uh, start with this bank okay now I'm going to have uh, a text box in here the difference between this icon and this icon is this one is a static text which is mean something like when I want the GUI, it won't be able to change. Uh, well, it will not be changed by the user. Um, this one you can add it. Okay, now I I have another one. Uh, I'm going to have a output in here. Okay. Now, um, I double click this one. Um, I call this call it box one okay and then the tag the box one uh, how about this um text box one okay same at this one box Text box two. Box three. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm also going to create a button in here. And this button I call this do it, do it button. Um, in here, I can put a label. This label I can do input in here. Okay, so first of all I'm going to do this part. It's not much. I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the pneumatic value of box 1 and box 2 and that it will when uh, come up to box 3 so it is going to do it when, when you can do it but like, how can how can MATLAB know there is a relation between like, box 1, box 2 and box 3 first of all we, are, we need to save this file uh, one way we save it is we want it and then it asks you like, whether you want to save it okay now I save it and then you see like that at this point there is no relation like when you can do it nothing is going to happen okay so okay you see there is text box 3 function uh, text box 3 callback something like that well we are going to do the um, push button callback in here in the push button callback we, we set um, a1 equal to string to number um, get, get the information from handle dot text box 1 we know that's a string Okay, so this in here, we're going to get the string, the text 
of text box one converge to lumber. Now, I do the same thing in here, but I change this to two. Okay. And then I'm going to set handle dot text box three with the A1 value. Okay, now let's see whether it works. So it says when it says push button one callback. So when you put pass a this do it, then supposed to have the calculation. Suppose to do the calculation. Now I, I go to set it at two five uh do it. Okay. Two plus five is equal to seven. Okay? So it's that simple. Okay. Next question is hey, how can I um interact with them? Now um if I want to have a figure, how can I do it? First close this one. I'm going to put a exit in here. Okay. Now so Let's say whenever, whenever I touch box two, this one is going to displace a side curve. How can I do that? So I'm not going to go to the do it button to make the change. I'm going to do something related to this box two. Okay. This text box two. Okay, we move to text box two callback function. And then we say Handles dot access one. We need to set that axis, so we need to also put this in there. Okay, um, this basically is talking about whenever you want to make a port you put this in front of the port function which is going to be the next function then it will going to make the port in axis 1 okay now I port side so from 1 to 10 okay now I run this okay um, I have two, this one I put six, now you see, when I leave it, it has already like, updated, okay, now you see I didn't click the do it button, so box three is still box three, I didn't do any update, I'll uh, do the update, so you see the side wave come up before the, um, the eggs come up, because I, the side wave generate automatically after I I uh, put the lumber in this uh, box in here. Okay, so we we know how to do this calculation.